China is one of the world's largest destinations when it comes to e-waste. By 2020, these e-waste from old computers in China would have increased by up to 400% from its 2007 levels. Waste from discarded mobile phones would be seven times higher. These mountains of discarded e-waste pose serious threats to public health, especially since itinerant workers extract copper and lead, seldom with any protective goggles and masks. So what companies like Similia propose as a solution is this. Fully or semi-automated processes that treat the e-waste of multinational electronic corporations. Here at its facility in Singapore, all manner of electronic waste is shredded, segregated, tested and pounded into powder or pellets. The best part, precious metals like gold and copper can be recovered from e-waste like this. Although it would take four tons of old integrated circuits to recover one kilogram of pure gold. A simple handset, hand for, which has got about 60 types of metals, which includes uh, copper, includes nickel, aluminium, sometimes iron and steel, apart from the precious metal like gold, silver, platinum, palladium and ruthenium. So every metal has its own functions in the hand set. When they manufacture using these fractions of the metals, definitely it has a function, it has a value. So when we want to throw, if we do not recycle, this value will be wasted. It is not just wasted, it is also endangered to the ecosystem. Similia is now handling the e-waste of multinationals like Seagate, Sony Ericsson, Canon and Dell. With the proper avenue and method for the disposal of these e-waste, tech companies would no longer need to dump their e-waste indiscriminately in developing countries. For Venki, recovering metals from electronic waste, especially in Asia, makes absolute economic sense for two reasons. Demand for electronic products in Asia is growing exponentially, driving up the demand for metals used as electronic components. Experts estimate that some $52 billion worth of metals is used in electronic products today. If just a tenth of these metals are recovered from e-waste, that means the electronic waste business is worth some 10 billion U.S. dollars.